Hey you, wait right there! Are you the twerp messing with my grunts? Little kid, you think you're brave. I'll teach you a valuable lesson. All right, wish me luck. <sighs> Gotta love seeing public displays of affection while I'm single during quarantine. Oh, oh I don't know if I have a strategy. <laughs> like, I don't know if my strategy is good enough. You're a new face? Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Butterfree, go! I think there's another um, raid battle in here. So I'm gonna repel my way for a little bit and see if I can get that raid battle. I don't know where it is. All right, these maniacs are always a pain. I think we wanna use Dubs here. And let me give Dubs Rock Tomb. You can't even learn Rock Tomb? All right, Dubs, I thought you were gonna learn Rock Tomb. Yeah, if this dude has a Magnemite, we kind of get wrecked by Magnemite. If it has Magnipool, I lose Dubs. It doesn't have Magnipool. Why is this so good against me? I'm gonna just teary look a few times and then I'll go into Squidward and beat him. Okay, I need to get out of here and heal. Y'all said it was right around the corner? Oh, it's right there. All right, give me something good. It's Swine Up. Okay, um, do we want Swine Up or do we want to chance ourselves grabbing something else? Our Mount Moon potential encounters would be Geodude, Zubat, Rockruff, Timber, Wubat, Choodle, Makuhita, Tyro, Clefairy, Trapinch. I think I take the swine up. I think you take the swine up here. So we're gonna take Manny here, or whatever you guys wanna call it. I am gonna just fire off a big Max Geyser here, and we should be alright to beat this thing pretty quickly. And KD Rod will get to do the nickname. Thank you, Constant. Thank you, KD Rod, Darthio, Rista K. What's up, everybody? KD Rod, what do you got for me? Alright, we're gonna name it Manny. That's the play. And a Moonstone. Which honestly is pretty clutch. Um, that could be very useful. So here is our swine out level 20, which we grabbed. It's Jolly Nature, wait a minute. Manny, Manny, with Thick Fat. Oh, he's got really bad attack, but great special defense. Great special attack, we got kind of unlucky there. Ice Shard, Mud Slap, Bulldoze, Endure with Thick Fat. That's really good. Just, all right, let's face the fossil, bro. Hey, stop, I found these fossils, they're both mine. All right, this is not the guy I'm worried about. It's the guy after this guy. I should be way over leveled for this. Slugma, um, we have too many things to not just switch. And what do you guys think in Dome or Helix team? Helix or Dome? I think we gotta go Lord Helix. We had Bird Jesus to begin the playthrough. We gotta go Helix. I'm gonna go Helix. We're not gonna see that. For Can we actually restore fossils now or do we have to? I don't think so. I think we have to continue. Okay. Well guys, our next big battle is coming up. Wish me luck, here we go. So I'm leading Squidward, I'm getting up T-Spikes, and then I'm clicking Acid Spray, I think. Hey you, wait right there! Are you the twerp messing with my grunts? Little kid, you think you're brave. I'll teach you a valuable lesson. All right, throw down showdown against Archer, the rocket admin leading off with Impidimp at level 18. All right, I obviously have a good matchup here. Uh, you can't use items, I didn't even mean to click that, my controller is bad. I will click T-Spikes, he's gonna fake out, so. I get up a second layer of T-Spikes, okay, great. This is all good, this is all good. Now I can sludge and hit him super effectively. And it, I don't know if it'll knock him out, but it should do a lot. He's gonna straight switch out, dude. That's probably best case scenario. Into my Diena, which is now toxic. These trainers switching out, man, they're, they're, they're serious business. Okay, if I think I can live a bite, I stay in here. I, I don't think I live a bite, so I don't I don't think I stay in. I think that's a mistake. I think Dubs is really solid here. That's gonna stop any berry he might have. And he's gonna go for bite, okay. Oh my god! What was that damage? I, I'm just, I don't know how I beat the Houndour. I'm trying to figure out how I beat the Houndour. I think I beat the Houndour with Luka at full health. Sack something off, uh, or, yeah. Um, or I just let Dubs go down and get a free switch in. I mean, that's the other option. Just let Dubs go down. I mean, I, I feel like having a steel type is really worthwhile though. But Batgirl's not gonna do anything for me here. All right, I'm gonna go Batgirl. Oh, it lived, yo, okay. That was a big live, dude. That was a big live. War Turtle's thick enough to take a bite. I get that War Turtle could take a bite, guys. The problem is, I then lose to Houndour. You have to think of how do I get through the entire battle. Sorry, Batgirl. Now I think, 
I go, I have to go Amethyst and I have to hope I'm faster is my only hope. I think I lose anyway. I think I legit lose no matter what. One thing I could do is I could go Amethyst, then go Dopey to protect the Ice Fang. He's gonna Ice Fang. I could go Amethyst and then switch into Dopey, take an Ice Fang, and then predict the bite, switch back into Amethyst. I think I have the chance that I, I outspeed. All right. Oh, I'm faster, let's go! Woo oh. Okay. I just dumped speed into this thing. I just threw speed EVs into this thing, guys. And that saves us. Here comes Houndour. This is the thing that has me worried the most. I don't know if I can live and incinerate from a Houndour right now. I think I have to go, my play was Luka here, but I'm gonna have to take two hits because he's gonna have Hidden Power Grass. I, I want a Rock Tomb. I think Bubble is the better play. Although Rock Tomb guarantees the KO. I'm gonna Rock Tomb. It, I, I was faster anyway, but it guarantees that I beat him on the next turn. Oh, I just one shot him. I just one shot him. Woo! All right, we lost one Mon, dude. Honestly, getting through this with one Mon, Lost? Not bad. Not bad, dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. One Mon lost, not a big deal. Woo! All right. And I was three levels up, too. And that still was a struggle. Thanks, Archer. All right, uh, my team is very weakened. Let's put uh, Amethyst in the front. All right, so we are now on Route 4. I don't know if there's any trainers on Route 4 that I need to be concerned about right now. I don't know. Oh, there's a den on Route 4. I get a den. I think you can, the way they made it is you can come back though. Didn't they make it so you can come back? Yeah, they made it so you can come back. There is a den. Okay, I'm gonna, let's, let's see what the den is. Is that Yamper? I think I gotta do it. I'm gonna go heal and then I'll come back here. Let me just heal before I do anything. Sorry, Batgirl. Your time has ended. All right, I do have an empty slot on my party, but um, just for the purposes of this raid, let me just grab Manny. Just so I can lead with Manny. I'll come back to this town and look around. We need, we definitely need that Yamper. I'll take Manny with me and I'll take Dubs with me and I'll take, uh, I'm gonna max quick. I'll take the guaranteed uh, Yamper here and That'll be my encounter. And we will catch him. And caught. Um, it is going to be KD Rod. KD Rod. Thank you, Photon. Thank you, Dragon Dog. Thank you, KD Rod. True Laddie. What's up, guys? We got a hype train. We're going to name it Grace. KD Rod has spoken. And we, it would have been Glamy out, guys. So it's a good thing I took the Yamper. 100% the play. 100% the play. I have a compound eyes, which is the same thing as Frisk in this game, right? It's basically the same thing. Oh, it adds it to the bag in this game. Oh, this guy looks for mushrooms. Yo, I have a really good idea. I have a very good idea. I go back, find Paris, and I just thief him a bunch of times. And then, oh, Glam says that in the chat as I say it too. I'm gonna make the decision of getting rid of Psybeam for now. Cause I think keeping staff is good. I'll get rid of Psybeam for Thief. Cause there might be some really good level zero moves and stuff, like move relearner stuff. So let's take let's take a few minutes to do that. Oh, I like that, dude. You just gave me a boost. Drop my stats, I get competitive boost. I just roared. Oops. Alright. Um, I'm not I, like I said, I gotta evolve bolt in before this next battle. I, I I think it would be or at least the Magikarp too. It would be a mistake to take take this for granted. Alright, Grace evolving into Bolton. This is one of the mons that we wanted for Misty, so very good. Poseidon to 20, all right. Poseidon's about to evolve team. That's big, dude. We assume he's gonna have Intimidate. And uh, big Gyarados here, obviously. Massive upgrade. I did not fish in Cerulean yet. Now, I haven't done an encounter in Cerulean, uh, which is a good point. Remind me to do that here in a little bit. Oh, he wants a Snome for a Carnivine. Oh, this is the egg. Okay, so I definitely want the egg. I gotta clear a spot for it. Uh, again, we're counting eggs as static encounters, so this would not take up our encounter. All right, well, wish me luck on the egg, guys. Uh, we just got an egg. We're gonna hatch that. Um, I should probably hatch it before I do anything else. Maju giving out a sub wants that nickname, and here it comes. What is it gonna be? Will someone sneak in with a gift sub? It is a Doduo. Maju, you get to nickname it. What do you got for me, Maju? You get to name it Alaka Chain. Thank you very much. We're gonna name it Kiwi. Kiwi is the nickname. All right, I think I think I have everything I need. Um, let's battle our rival. I, I should be okay in this battle. Legitimately, 
dubs alone beats most of the team. So thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Torterra. Let's see what Marvin's got for me. He's got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Okay. He's gonna lead it off with Curlia. Obviously, we know exactly what we're doing. We got dubs. I normally would fake out, but I don't want to fake out because he might switch. So I'd rather just Metal Claw. And like I said, I, we get an attack boost. I actually think I sweep with dubs at this point. I got an attack boost. I think I sweep with dubs. Here comes Saravia. He gets an attack drop on him. But Saravia can't touch me, so I think I just Metal Claw. I resist. Yeah, I'm just gonna Metal Claw. Even with the Intimidate, I, I think I just sweep. Because even his Rock Rub can't touch me. I get another attack boost. Let's go, dude. Dubs, yo, Dubs is doing it. This is a good pickup, man. Worst thing Ivysaur does is put me to sleep or Leech Seed me. Honestly? Ah, oh, he went for the sleep. I went for the taunt. I thought maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, I think I just stay in and see what he does. He's gonna Leech Seed me is what he's gonna do. I wanna taunt. I did hit the Metal Claw though. He sleeps me again. All right, I gotta switch. Yeah, I think I gotta switch. I'm gonna have Poseidon to Intimidate. I'm just gonna hit an Intimidate because he's got physical attacks. He's probably gonna take down or something. He's gonna switch into Rock Ruff. Which I have to be careful of. I actually can't be Rock Ruff. I gotta switch out. He's gonna Rock to him. He misses. All right, I just click Water Pulse. I'm surprised he doesn't switch, but that's fine. Nice crit. All right, that was good. And here comes the Ivysaur again. Now, obviously, we don't want to stay in. I just go Poseidon. Get the Intimidate. He Bullet Seeds. Doesn't do much. I'm just going to go for a Bite. He Bullet Seeds again. I just Bite again. I pop a Berry. I knock him out. Easy peasy. I actually probably should have been a little bit more careful. That Bullet Seed did a lot more than I would have liked, but I do very easily beat Marvin there. Very solid, very solid. Okay, good. He's going to give me a little present. He's going to give me the Pokey Rider? Oh, you can fly. Okay, word. So we can fly back. That's actually very nice. And uh, he's gonna bounce out of here. So now I can actually fly back if I wanted to. And honestly, I feel like maybe having Manny on the team for Bugsy isn't a bad play just because it does have Ice Shard. Pluck over Peck. Gotta love that. It's a really good move in this game. Here's our den. Let's find out what it's gonna be. I'm not gonna touch the grass. This is our next encounter. What will our encounter be? Thank you, JK. Let's take a peek inside. And it is an Abra. We can take an Abra, which very well could have Magic Guard. Abra could be insanely good in this playthrough as an Alakazam. Alternatively, our encounter table looks to be Snubble, Petalil, Whismur, Abra, Carablast, Volbeat, Elekid, Farfetch, Roltz, Ponyta. Abra with Magic Guard potentially. I just, I hate that Abra is such a glass cannon. That's like my biggest... Have another den in front? What do you mean another den in front? Is there a den up? Oh, this is a different route in general. I, I forgot that this was two routes, yo. All right, word, so we actually get two. You know what? Let me see what the 25th encounter route is and we'll make a decision because we can kind of weigh out some of our options based on what we see here as well and just kind of be smart about it, right? And let's see, what is in this raid? This is a Psyduck. Okay, I think, I don't know if this is a double battle. I'm not gonna risk it right now. I, I think what we have to consider here is Route 25, where I don't think taking Psyduck makes sense. I think chancing the grass encounter is way better. I think I wanna do my 25 encounter before my 24 encounter. I'm gonna do 25, this is our encounter. We, I'm not gonna take the Psyduck. I don't think the Psyduck is worth it. I will do the raid though. I just won't take the Psyduck. So I really want Pineco. Um, if I had a choice in the matter, I would take Pineco here. Um, so wish me luck, okay? Let's do it. I just was looking at night and day encounters, but I think day is our best bet. So it is gonna be a Meryl. Meryl is our encounter, which honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. We just have to hope it has huge power. Uh, is really what it comes down to. As long as it has huge power, that's good. What do you got for me? Squiggly it is. All right, Zircon with the nickname Squiggly. And I still have another encounter. Yeah, I was gonna go Abra either way, but this is definitely the play. And again, same thing, nickname options. Level 21, this should be pretty easy for us. I think I just clicked fight a few times. What do you got? Spoons it is. All right, Spoons. Jimmy, thanks for two months. All right, let's talk to Bill. He's a Clefairy. I'm a Pokemon, I'm, Bl I'm Bill. I know who you are. Okay, you can get in the teleporter and run the cell separation system, have fun. And Bill's here, what's up, Bill? Yeehaw, I owe you one. Uh, no, just just give me the ticket, bro. Thanks for the ticket. 
We've got Squiggly. Will Squiggly have huge power? Thick fat Squiggly! Uh, uh. We can change that later. And you. Quiet nature is kind of funny. Magic guard is what we were looking for. And it's got great eye. Oh, those eat. Oh, I love those stats. I love them. Spoons. They're going to the party for now. I'm just going to train uh, the Mons. If, if something's level 27, I'm just going to leave them. The play here is we lead Amethyst. We click Gust on the Aria Dose. Or I click Sleep Powder too. I mean, either one. I could try to Sleep Powder it because it doesn't have Sleep Talk. I could Sleep Powder the Aria Dose. I'm worried about Poison Fang. It's going to hurt. I could sleep it and then start firing off Gus. All right, wish me luck. <sighs> Gotta love seeing public displays of affection while I'm single during quarantine. Oh, didn't see you there. I hope you can disregard what I just said. The name's Bugsy. You met my colleague Faulkner too. The Johto gym leaders decided to pay Kanto a visit as there have been talks of a lot of new cutting edge technology being researched here. Well, since you're new, I'm assuming you want a battle. All right. I know bug types. If anyone knows bug types, it is I. Let's do a Bugsy. Level 20. Six already dose, okay. So I think my play here is to Sleep Powder. I think it's a very low risk play. He's faster than me and he goes for Bug Bite. So he's gonna steal my berry. I'm very surprised. He must be buffed in this game to be faster. He must be buffed in this game to be faster. So I lost my berry. I did put him to sleep. We have a guaranteed turn of sleep right here. So we just click Gust. And it should do about, I would say 60%. I would assume this is a two shot. That doesn't do nearly as much as I thought it was gonna do. He's still asleep, that's actually huge. He wakes up. Mm, poison Fang, no poison. No crits. Oh, okay, woo, baby. Okay, one down. Uh, but Amethyst can't be used at this point, I don't think. I don't think I can keep Amethyst in. Scyther comes out, 26. All right, my play, one million percent is Poseidon. I need to get an Intimidate off on this thing, and then we need to start Ice Fanging and hope he doesn't Swords Dance. Hope he goes for Brick Break or something for some reason. He's gonna Wing Attack or Swords Dance. He Wing Attacks, but he's negative one. And we take that pretty well, okay. I can work with that. He Swords Dances, here we go. Here we go. That's damage. Okay. He's gonna U-turn out. Ooh, okay. I have, to, I activate my berry. I have to save Poseidon for later in the battle. I do get a free, um, I get a free Ice Fang off on the incoming Ledian. And a freeze! Oh, okay. Okay. We have to be very careful. This thing is gonna try to power up punch on us. I gotta go Kiwi and He's gonna try to set up on us, so I think he's fighting in bug. He's still frozen! <laughs> Pluck. He's still frozen! Oh, let's go! We hexed out Bugsy, let's get it. That should one-shot him. Okay. You could say, A drive, just just click Pluck here. The problem is, if he wing attacks and outspeeds me, he he almost he dare he guarantees knocks me out, right? So, I think I gotta go Poseidon here, or Grace on the wing attack, but the problem with Grace is I go Grace, he wing attacks, and then outspeeds me, goes for U-turn, he knocks me out. It's not that straightforward. And I need Grace for the gym. I think I gotta go Poseidon. If he's plus one, I can live a hit with Poseidon, I think. I'm going for the Intimidate. I can live another wing attack, we're good. I just gotta not miss. Ice Fang is not gonna miss. Let's go. Let's go, baby! Woo! All right, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it! Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, thank you, Bugsy. I will gladly take the TM for you turn. Thank you, and some nest balls, too. I appreciate you, and I'll see you later. All right, guys, Misty's up, let's go. I have some really good strategies for Misty, so let's see if I can rare candy that one level. I hope it, I hope it evolves. I really hope it evolves. Okay, he does evolve. Okay, so we have a Berserker now. I think I gotta have Berserker on the team. And he wants to learn Iron Head, big pickup over Metal Claw. All right, that that in, in itself is, is really strong. Yeah, he's got a really good attack stat, decent natural ball. He has Steely Spirit now. I think I gotta give this guy a shot in this battle. I think I have to. I don't think Squiggly adds enough. I need that resist. 
Oh, this is a Meowth. I need Berserker's image. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if I have a strategy. Like, <laughs> I don't know if my strategy is good enough. I don't know. I, I, I would like to think I can get through this battle if I get Toxic Spikes up. I just don't know what the team is gonna look like afterwards. You know what I'm saying? You're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with Water-type Pokemon. I gotta get him Toxic Spikes. That's step one instead of Toxic Spikes. He's gonna rock turn. He's gonna flip turn turn one. That is amazing. He's gonna go Starmie, I think. That's actually best case scenario. Oh, that's so good for us. Now I think I headbutt for damage. I could also yawn, but he's gonna switch out either way. I could yawn, but if he switches, it's kind of dumb. I think I take the damage. He's gonna switch. Frogadier, 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 Frogadier. Okay. All right, and I get the poison on Frog, and I get a headbutt off. All right, this is big. This is damage that I absolutely desperately need on Frogadier. I have to assume the Frogadier goes for Grass Knot here, which means I think I go Dubs. I think I go Dubs here, predicting the. The Grass Knot, most likely. Grass Knot. He's gonna turn into a Grass type. And that doesn't do very much. Doesn't switch, huge. Okay, it's an extra turn of poison. Now, it most likely flip turns here. It most likely flip turns. Poseidon for Intimidate looks really good here. But I'm also thinking that if I just click U-turn myself, then I catch the Starmie with a super effective hit and put ourselves in a really good spot. So I think I go for U-turn myself. He actually ice punches, which means I'm gonna knock out the Frogadier. So it would have been nice if I switched, but as long as I don't get frozen, we're fine. Nice, yo, Dubs was a big bring, dude. Dubs was a massive bring in this battle. It was a massive bring in this battle and it was 100% the right decision ultimately. Luca handles the Starmie relatively well. Free switch to Grace? I guess this is the free switch to Grace. Like if I'm gonna use Grace, it's kind of right now, isn't it? I'm just not convinced Grace is living in a hit though. I guess that's my issue. Like I'm not convinced that Grace is living in attack, but I guess what's the point of having Grace if we're not gonna send it in? So let's do it. I guess why do we even have Grace if it's not gonna live a hit? I, sh I should have stuck to my gut, dude. I should have stuck to my gut and went into, I should have stuck to my gut and, w and started with Luca here. I should not have went into Grace right now. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I should have stuck to my gut. He's gonna Ice Fang. He doesn't have Ice Fang, guys. <laughs> Everyone making predictions in chat is not helping. He's not, I'm not gonna live the hit. I'm not gonna live a water move right now. I am not gonna live a water move right now. I know I'm not gonna live a water move right now. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Oh, I ate that up! We ate that up! Okay, it's because it wasn't technician. It's because that wasn't technician. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. That wasn't technician, Water Pulse does more damage there. Water Pulse does more damage there. I think I YOLO Grace again and just see if it switches because if it switches, we win. It does switch, it always switches, let's go! Let's go! That was the play. Ah, oh. not out of the woods yet, but darn close. All right, I think the play here is 100% Luka. 100% Luka. He dies to poison. Toxic Spikes has proven to be incredibly good, man. Incredibly good. Barring some crazy nonsense, we're in good shape. I, I just go right out into derp, uh, Dopey, and I think we're, we're clear. Woo, okay. We got this, guys. It just goes down to poison now. I don't think I have to stress. I legit think I just click headbutt here, and it dies to uh, poison. Two gems down, baby! Radical Red Nuzlocke, attempt one! We're doing it right now! We're really doing it right now! Starmie takes another chunk. I don't think there's any world where Starmie beats me. I'm, I, oh, he has Recover! Wait, it's not over yet! I got excited, I forgot, I didn't know he had Recover. It ain't over yet, hold up, hold up. I got excited, I think we're still gonna be okay, because he has to basically Recover spam me to have a chance here. Yeah, we're good now. I feel good, I feel good! First first time uh, Nuzlocke Radical Red, bro. I obviously have notes. But I was inspired by my man Shady, and uh, I know you kind of have to have notes for this. You kind of have to, so. Misty, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's it. Let's go. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. Our team is going to love Flip Turn, aren't they? Luca can learn Flip Turn. Anyone else? Like, my whole team is Water Types. I do get a Gym Encounter as well, 
I do get a gym encounter. Let's heal. I'm gonna grab my gym encounter. Are there encounters in here? There is fishing in Cerulean. I just, I thought it was the gym. North next to Bill, is that considered Cerulean? Yeah, maybe when you're in front of Mewtwo's cave, you can just barely get an encounter. I always thought you can get an encounter here, but I guess not. Like this isn't Cerulean, this is 25. 25, 24. And Cerulean starts here, and there's no encounter. That patch, so I think we have to wait for that. So, anyway, to recap, guys, I am very happy with how this has gone so far. Uh, our team is is very watery, but it, it works so far. Um, we have a lot of problems ahead of us, though, with Surge. Um, I, I do have a, a Swine Up, which we can get to a Mammoth Swine before Surge. I am a little concerned about that, but that is a problem for another day, most likely tomorrow.